Hey guys, my name's John. Thanks for stopping by the channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification. Then you won't miss any of the content that we're going to be putting out in the next couple of weeks. Today, I want to do a follow up to a video that I did a few weeks ago on how to record your iOS screen if you're using the DJI Go 4 application with your Mavic or one of your other DJI drones. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can take a look up here. There should be a link to it. One of the bits of feedback I got from that video was it was just way too complicated. So being able to record an iOS screen whilst using the DJI app, people just said, look, you know, having to use an Apple TV and the recording device if I'm out in the field was just too complicated. And I got a lot of other feedback saying that in iOS 11, screen recording was going to be part of the OS. So today's video, screen recording using iOS 11. Before we get started, a warning. iOS 11 is not yet available to the general public. iOS 11 beta is available to anybody who wants to download it. So you can go and get it and install it on your iOS devices. However, this is beta software. And with that should come a set of warnings that say that some things might not work. Your device might crash. There might be all sorts of other problems with it. And then really, if you install it, you have to take responsibility for it. So if you use your devices for work, if you, uh, if you rely upon them to make your living, if you need them to be uh, you know, a lot more reliable, then please don't install the beta software. Wait for the actual release, uh, which should be around the September, October timeframe. However, if you do have a spare device and you wanna try it out, go to beta.apple.com and you can download the beta. Now, how do you launch the application? It's real simple. There's a simple configuration you've got to do. Once you've done that, you just flick up to the control panel, press the record button, and you're off and running. So let me show you how that works. Before we can use screen recording, we need to enable it. Select your settings app, then go to the control center section and click the plus icon next to screen recording. You can adjust its position using the handle. Return to your home screen and either double click the home button or perform a double swipe up from the bottom. So swipe up once and then continue to swipe up to reach the control center. You'll notice the record icon over on the right hand side. When you click this, it will begin to count down to the beginning of the recording. Once the recording has started, I can switch into the DJI Pro application or any other application for that matter everything that is shown on the screen on my iPad is recorded by the application. So check my camera settings, quick look at the map and we're ready to go. One of the nice features about this is it will also record take the off. audio from the device the as well. Point has been so we can hear Please the takeoff warning. Now that we're able to simply record the user interface it allows us to make tutorial videos such as this one much simpler. With some simple editing techniques, we can move between the user interface and the video recorded from the drone, and back again just as easily. And that's it. Really, really simple. It takes about 10 seconds to set it up, and then often recording, and when you finish your recording, they appear in the iOS Photos app. Well, I hope you found this useful, and as always, if you have been, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time with another video.